everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here. Today, going to show you how to play that solo, Lay It on the Line, by Rick Emmett and Triumph from 1982, if I'm not mistaken. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial, and we are soloing in the key of A minor using the A natural minor scale. A lot of it going on in one position right here. So starting on the 12 of the A string, 9, 10, 12 of the D and the G, kind of slide that into 14 of the G, 12, 13, 15 of the B and the high E. That root note right there. So that is the A natural minor in that position where we're going to be doing a lot of the soloing, uh, but the solo starts actually with some unison bends, coming off an A power chord. So we're uh, just ascending up the neck here with these unison bends, starting on the three of the G and the one of the B. Move it up two spots and then move it up three spots to the uh, six and the eight, right? Then you're gonna pick that one again, move it up to 10 and uh, eight, and then 12 and 10. Pick that one again, move it up to 14 and 12, and then 15 and 13. Right, so those are the unison bends. And then the solo proper starts. With that first lick right there. 10, 12, 13 of the high E. And then you're gonna reverse that with pull-offs and do the exact same thing on the B string and then land on the 12 of the G. Right. And then we're into this lick. So we're sliding into 14, 12, 13, 15 of the B. Three bends of that 15, release it off to 13, grab the 14 of the G back to the 13 of the B. onto the 15 of the high E for a full step bend release. So up to that point without the unison bends. Now we're into a rather long little scale run here that kind of descends and then ascends back up again. There. So we're going to break that in half. And that's kind of the beginning. Starting on the 13 of the high E and then you do a little trill. And then you just descend down the scale, right? At this point you go up to the uh, 12 of the D and then you go back to the uh, 9, 10 for a little trill, right? Finish with that. 12 of the A off to 10 back onto 12. Now the second half where we start ascending back up the scale. Goes down to the 10 onto the 12 into the 14 with a slide and then just down the scale, right? And then another little trill here between 12 and 13. Back up to the uh, 14 of the G, back to the 12 of the B, and then finish on the 13 of the high E, and that finishes that whole scale run. Right, one more time. And from the beginning up to that point. Right. 
and then we're into this. <clears throat> So we're coming off that 13, we just landed on it right, now we're going to go 12, 13, 15, full step bend release, drop back to the 13 of the B into a full step bend of the 15. Now when you bend that 15, you're going to drop your pinky on the 15 of the high E for a double hit. And you're going to do that twice. Then you're going to release that bend off to 13, grab the 14, back onto the 13, then you're going to drop onto the 15, slide it into 17. Right, and then 15, 17 of the high E, into a step and a half bend to finish that lick. One more time. All right, step and a half right there. And then we're into this. More little semitone trills, right? 12, uh, 13. Finishing on the 14 there of the G. So putting that together from here. Now we're into another little scale run. It's just going right down the scale, right? Starting on the 14 of the G. 12, 13, 15 of the B, and then reverse it. And when you're going up the scale here, when you get to the 14 of the D, you're going to go chromatically to 13 to 12. And then just up the 10s and 12s, right? Just reverse that and go back down the tens and twelves and when you get to the 12 of the D you slide it into 14. Right and then we're into the final scale run of the solo. Right that scale run right there it's about as basic a scale run as it gets. Little six note pattern right here on the uh, 15s and 17s of the low E and the A, right? Now you're going to move that up two spots to the A and the D string, down to the D and the G, down to the G and the B, right? And then you drop into that little repeating lick there, uh, 20 off to 17 up to 19 of the G, back down to that uh, 17 of the B string for little triple hits, right? Kind of like that, and repeat that three times. But it's very quick, right? And then you finally drop onto the uh, 20th fret of the high E string here. Release the bend off to 17 couple of full step bends of the 20 of the B to end the solo. Right, and that is how you play that one. So let's take it right from the top nice and slow and then we'll be done.
And there you have it. That is how you play the solo to Lay It on the Line by Rick Emmett and Triumph. Certainly hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and accurate. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you, and we will see you next time. Cheers.